colors, as well as waiting until the colors have left the floor. At this time, will you please stand to greet our graduates. We ask that you remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner as performed by the Manzano Concert Choir and the presentation of colors by the Manzano Naval Junior ROTC under the direction of myself, Commander Tim Kersey, and First Sergeant Matt McMenamin. Today's color guard is commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Kiana Pacheco and staffed by three additional members of the JROTC program, Cadet Olivia McCall, Cadet Alex Martinez, and Cadet Destiny Duran.
You may now be seated. Parents and guests are asked to keep all aisles clear during the entire ceremony. This is by request of the fire department. Those wishing to take pictures must do so from their seats, and we ask that you remain seated so that you do not block the view of others. An official photographer will be taking a picture of each graduate receiving a diploma. Good morning, friends and family. I am Rachel Vigil, and I am the proud principal of Manzano High School. Please allow me to introduce everyone who is accompanying me today. Student Body President, Leela Miles. <laughs> Student Body Vice President, Sierra Dixon. <laughs> Student Body Treasurer, Courtney Senna. Student Body Historian, Eben Chavez. <laughs> MHS Salutatorian, Evan Alderete. <laughs> MHS Valedictorian, Brianna Villa Gomez. <laughs> APS Board Member, Josefina E. Dominguez. APS Superintendent Scott Elder. APS Associate Superintendent for Learning Zone 1, Mr. Eugene Saavedra. Assistant Principal of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Jason Sanchez. Assistant Principal of Buildings and Grounds, Mr. Arvis Vonner. Assistant Principal for Special Education and Attendance, Ms. Elizabeth Hughart. So good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, families, friends, and honored guests for being here to pay tribute to the class of 2023. Graduates, today we are all here to celebrate your courage, your hard work, and this milestone success. The class of 2023 holds a special place in my heart because we came to Manzano at the same time. It was my first principal's assignment and your first year of high school. One could say that metaphorically speaking, we were freshmen together. During that first year, we were blindsided by the global pandemic COVID-19. This scourge would bring unprecedented challenges for the world and its own unique set of challenges for our students. It would significantly alter the academic and social educational experience with at-home confinement, online classes, and a variety of other issues. Youngest of all Manzano High School students, children you might say, you summoned the courage and work ethic to persevere, excel, and become young adults on your way to this auspicious day. I am proud to say that you are the epitome of courage and hard work, and for that I say, well done, monarchs. But, this is just the beginning of the aspirations you will fulfill on your journey through life. Success will always be that intangible thing that lingers right in front of you, waiting for you to summon the courage and work ethic to make it something real. Will it always be easy? Undoubtedly not. Will you sometimes encounter failure? Undoubtedly so. But as Winston Churchill famously said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Whatever your individual vision of success is, approach it with the courage 
and the work ethic that got you here today. Approach it with integrity, humility, and at every opportunity, kindness. All these things have been fostered at Manzano. You leave here with a solid foundation for learning, competing, helping others, and being helped. I have seen your faces throughout the course of your education here at MHS, and in those faces I see hope, anticipation, and most importantly, infinite potential. All who have loved you, taught you, counseled you, befriended you, and yes, sometimes disciplined you, have all been instrumental in the success that you have garnered thus far. We applaud you today and look forward with our own anticipation to your continuing courage, heightened work ethic, and the fulfillment of the immense potential that lies within you as you navigate through our ever-changing, always challenging, and ultimately rewarding world. A world that, now more than ever, needs you to become the best version of you that you can possibly be. May the words, well done, always be a part of your future endeavors. Will everyone please join me in congratulating the class of 2023? We will now have speeches from a few of our honored students. This year's valedictorian for the class of 2023 with an impressive 4.593 weighted GPA, Brianna Villagomez, Villagomez, and salutatorians, Evan Alderete with an impressive 4.575 weighted GPA. Also coming to the stage are this year's student body officers, Leela Miles, Sierra Dixon, Courtney Senna, Sydney Garcia, and Eben Chavez. Before I give my speech, I would like to give thanks to my family, my friends, and faculty that helped me be here. I had no idea what I wanted to talk about today, so I asked my fellow peers what they wanted to hear, and it turns out they also had no idea what they wanted to hear today. Yet here we are at graduation, still with this feeling of ambiguity, uncertainty, a feeling that is frowned upon but normal. When I was asking my peers what they wanted to hear, everyone I asked responded with, I don't know, or I have no idea. It's completely normal to not feel certain. It's okay not knowing what you want to do in life. We are still young. We have time to think. This uncertainty is what connects us all together. When we first entered freshman year, we all had different ambitions and different goals. Now think about how completely different they are now compared to senior year. We grew up. We now notice the change around us. The world is constantly changing. Our ideas are constantly changing. Life was made for the unknown for change. But there's some things that do not change, like Miss Carr's cheerful words of encouragement or Miss Eden saying, Brianna, I saved this last puzzle piece just for you. Or saying, we won't procrastinate, absolutely knowing that we will. It is moments like those that make this high school experience memorable but we should not forget the unknown. That unknown opens us to the idea of thinking and imagination. Such powerful tools influence the change. We have made it so far, we went through multiple challenges in our lives, and we endured, we succeeded. I am thrilled to have been part of this class. Good luck, class of 2023, the class of the unknown, the class of great change. Thank you. Hi, first of all, I'd just also like to thank my family and friends for allowing me to be in the spot that I am today. Okay, here we go. As freshmen, we were small, annoying, and immature, as I'm sure our parents and teachers can attest to. We were little kids, barely teenagers, put into an environment where we were expected to figure out who we were and what we were supposed to do for the rest of our life. Each class, every club and sport, and all the new people we met were supposed to help us transform. And 
Whether you believe me or not, I know that we have all grown up in our own way. Um, sorry. Just making it here is proof of that. <laughs> we have made it through all the awful annotations we were forced to do, the pointless drama, those football games, sophomore year, and every other challenge we have overcome. These challenges we have all overcome were uncomfortable, but we persevered. And as first taught me sophomore year, discomfort is a catalyst to growth. Now you're probably thinking that this is the end, that you've reached the goal, the finish line, and even if you're not going to college right away, graduating high, school, graduating high school is now just the start to everything else. So when you get your diploma, flip your tassel, and have officially graduated, I challenge you to keep feeling uncomfortable, to keep accepting challenges and overcoming them. Additionally, I'm so proud of us for keeping the school together. Whenever Drop the Bass would play, we knew exactly what to do. Whenever Spirit Week came, we all participated. And we rebuilt programs and started new ones at this school. It's these little things at Manzano that make high school so much more enjoyable. We might not have left a physical memento or change in the school now that we are leaving, but we definitely left an impression, a ripple effect that has kept the school in shape and will continue to after we are gone. We not only have changed personally, but have made such an impact on the school that we have been able to change it, to set the new standard for what the school will expect from future classes. And finally, if I haven't convinced you, your parents, or your teachers enough of the changes you have made in yourself and at Manzano, just think back to who you were freshman year. Just, oh, maybe the letter you wrote yourself or the good and bad photos and memories you have. Just think of all the changes you have made in these four quick years. And now imagine how much you will grow and develop in these coming years and the rest of your life. We were able to grow up, figure out who we were, what we liked, and maybe who you wanted to be if you were lucky. This time is our chance to embrace the changes. I'm so proud and honored to be a part of the class of 2023. Congratulations, we made it. Welcome, everyone, and congratulations. That was a wild ride. It seems like just yesterday we were getting ready for our first day of high school, and now we're here. Obviously, I haven't had the chance to meet all of you, but I'm sure we shared similar experiences. We've spent the past four years trying to navigate the mess that is being a teenager. Now, I know the COVID talk is very dated, but we gotta give credit where credit's due. COVID has forever altered our generation and our society. We're not only now more socially awkward and anxious about going into public places, we've also learned to persevere through so much. We've shown extreme amounts of dedication and drive, a need to succeed and want the best for ourselves, our future, and the people around us. We've supported and been supported so much throughout these four years. We went through heartbreak, new love, deeper friendships, better mindsets, the awkward phase, <laughs> but all that and then some helped us mature. You know, my mom always used to tell me, mistakes are just lessons we have to learn from and we've made a lot of mistakes, which only makes us that much wiser, <laughs> right? I'm not sure I fully understand the concept of graduating, like leaving high school and our adolescence because High school was made to be such a big deal, and it is. It's paved the way for our future, but it's only four years. Four years of the many decades to come with new adventure and fun and excitement. But we've been so focused on these four years, our world confined within the gates of our high school, that we've hardly thought beyond them. Four years that we'll hardly remember. These years are now in the past. They will be memories that we share with the people of our future, our kids, our grandkids. They'll be but a blimp. Some of you will look back on these years of your lives and reminisce about what a crazy and wild time you had. Others of us will be thankful we got through it in one piece. <laughs> As we sit through this ceremony, be sure to thank the people in your corner, that pillar of support, that person who always cheered you on no matter what. And as we leave this beautiful Coliseum and go about our lives without some of us ever crossing paths again, remember, it doesn't matter what you do, but do something. Something worth it, something that you are proud of because we worked way too hard for this. The sleepless nights, the meals replaced with energy drinks and coffee, the hours of work we put in, all to be here today. 
to move on to the next journey of our lives, we'll say goodbye to high school and welcome with reluctant arms, bills, mortgages, our roaring 20s. That's going to be wild. <laughs> My junior year, I had Mr. V for a push, and he told me something I'll never forget. He said, people will only look at what you actually do, not what you say you're going to do. So what are you going to do? It's been a blast, Monarchs. We'll see you at the reunion. Hello, class of 2023 family and friends. My name is Sydney Garcia, and I am the class of 2023 student body secretary. My name is Sierra Dixon, and I am the class of 2023 student body vice president. My name is Courtney Senna, and I am the class of 2023 student body treasurer. My name is Eben Chavez, and I am the class of 2023 student body historian. Well, Monarchs, we're finally here. The moment we've all been anticipating, the moment some of us thought we'd never see. Think of all of your high school memories, good or bad, they are what led us to this memorable day. After today, we've accomplished one of the major early milestones of our lives, high school graduation. As our high school career has come to an end, so many emotions are flooded in our mind. Excitement, nerves, maybe grief of our high school selves. Even though our high school years were cut short due to COVID, it was still one hell of a ride. COVID was definitely a struggle and wasn't for the week, but look at the outcome from it. Because of the extra struggles our class faced, the support we received has been even more essential in getting us here today. We owe a huge thank you to our administrators, families, coaches, friends, and other loved ones. A specific person we'd like to thank on behalf of the entirety of the class of 2023 is Jessica Carr for being the person everybody could go to in any situation. You truly have a way with people. As we start this new chapter of our lives, let's be bold enough to use our voices, brave enough to listen to our hearts, strong enough to live with the utmost truth and integrity. We may not have the power to inspire the entire world to strive for compassion and consideration. We've earned the skills to achieve it within ourselves. Some of us will be going to college, others straight into the workforce, but all of us will be doing something to better ourselves each day. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. Let's make that future so Gen Z has the greatest success in history. APS board member, the graduates before you have met all of the graduation requirements as set forth by the Albuquerque Public Schools Board of Education along with the New Mexico Public Education Department. To you, Josefina E. Dominguez, I present the class of 2023. <laughs> Principal Vigil, and on behalf of the Albuquerque Public Schools Board of Education, I accept the graduating class of 2023 from Manzano High School. Congratulations, felicidades, mil bendiciones. It is now my pleasure to invite the class of 2023 to the stage to receive their diplomas. Distinguished stage guests and Teacher of the Year 2021 Francesca Martinez and Teddy Tonioli 
Will you please join me on stage to welcome the graduates of 2023? Let's help me give them a big round of applause. Brianna Villa Gomez, Evan Alderete, Johnson Nguyen, Peyton Fury, Sophia Schmelzel. Marina Henderson. Nico Edwards. Helena Osler. Colby Erler. Trin Trin. Silas Roy. Savannah Avaril. Felicity Wallace. Catherine Moreno Leal. Tristan Savickas. Land Mathis. Marissa Brewer. Alexa Cruz. Isabella Rue. Jessica Whitfield. Lila Miles. Sierra Dixon. Sydney Garcia. Courtney Senna. Eben Chavez. Alexandra Aguilar Mojica. Angel Aguide. Andres Alacon. Isabel Ali. Melissa Allen. Stephanie Allure. Ian Alonzo. Christopher Amador. Kira Apodaca. Lucas Armstrong. Joseph Bados Benavides. K. 
Caitlin Battelle. Carlos Blakeney. Cambria Blakenship. Wilson Bonet. Joshua Bowen. Garrett Brody. Brooke Butts. Anthony Butts. Patty Callen. Madison Carter. Alejandro Casanova. Armando Sepita. Anthony Chacon. Antonio Chavez. Justin Chavez. Sophia Coffrin. Levi Coleman. Ezekiel Concanon. Madison Kunsis. Rosara Correa Valentin. Ruthann Davis. Byron Del Grito. Nicholas Dial. Valeria Diego Barrera. Tan Duong. Antonio Duran. Diego Duran. Elias Duran. Lillian Durham. Annalise Dutchover. Diego Insignas. Ezekiel Estrada. Michaela Fajardo. Serenity Falsetta Sandoval. Mark Federico. Oscar Fernandez Cordova. Alexis Flores. Edgar Flores. Ricardo Flores. Sarai Flores Silva. Alexis Fox. Amaria Garcia. Ezra Garcia. Hannah Garcia. Virginia Flores. Noah Garcia. Ruben Garcia.
Alyssa Garduño. Karina Garrido. Celestial Golden. Daniel Gonzalez. Delicia Gonzalez. Paul Gonzalez. Gabriella Gonzalez. Skyler Gordon. Cameron Green. Charlize Gray. Andres Griego. Louis Guetta. Noah Gudele. Matthew Gutierrez. Mia Guzman. Violet Hannig. Juliana Helkema. Joshua Hopper. Isan Hosseini. Ethan Hollett. Nyla Ivy Saad. Trey Jamison. Adriana Johnson. Zah Johnson. Peyton Jorgensen. Matthew Kieser Caitlin Garcia. April Nicole King. Lucius Kaveg. Jalen Lakes. Christopher Lamb. Emiliano Large. Samuel Lawrence. Jason Lee. Ton Lee. Adrian Leal. Darian Lee. Kendriana Lewis. Onyx Leba. Odalie Loetta. Jose Emmanuel Lopez. Jalen Lucero. Delilah Martinez. Tamaria Martinez. Alyssa Mascarenas. Axel Mata. Brianna Mata. Zozo Megan.
Joshua Maladonis. Madeja Miller. Ethan Mirabal. Elijah Montoya. Mateo Montoya. Miguel Montoya. Trinity Montoya. Julia Mora. Angel Morales de Zarate. Aziza Morris. Theodore Morrison. Tierra Nastasio. Alex Nestosi. Tina Nyo. <laughs> May Nguyen. Yvette Nguyen. David Nguyen. Brandon Nieto. James Norton. Nicole Olivas Perez. Paisley Ornilas. Ruben Arona. Paz Pacheco. Albert Padilla. Stasha Penn. Zeta Perez. Alex Pettit. Marissa Phelps. Brandon Porras. Amira Portillos. Jeremiah Quinones. Ian Shane Quintana Pionzik. Amara Renteria. Demario Reyes. Jonathan Reyes. Jay Richardson. Brianna Rivera. Alvaro Robles Rubio. Destiny Rodriguez. Micah Rodriguez. Caden Romero. Edward Romero.
Jayla Romero. Brianna Royball. Brianna Samora. Isaiah Sr. Samantha Centeno. Madison Shadle. Autumn Shaw. Nicholas Shepard. Alexis Silachan. Mary Jane Smith. Sway Smith. Cheyenne Souders. Rose Stahn. Zachary Steen. Eli Tapia. Madi Tapia. Parker Taylor. Elijah Torres Salazar. Ka Tran. Fook Tran. Lucas Trujillo. Jaden Ulibati. Nathan Urbina Beatty. Ian Vias. Anna Lee Varela. Brandon Velarde. Arson Warner. Kiara Wilcox. Jonathan Williams. Olivia Withrow. Juanita Zamaran. Patrick Zamora. Upon conclusion of the commencement ceremony, graduates will be escorted out. They will be united with their loved ones in the greeting area just in front of the Coliseum entrance. Class of 2023, we would like to say that the memories we have shared through high school will always be deep within our hearts. And now, as a final act of unity, we will follow the Manzano tradition that the class moves their tassels together. Will the class of 2023 please rise? Please move your tassels from right to left. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the class of 2023.